<laughs> wow, rapture is soon. soon. Very any soon. Moment. And it's, it can happen at any moment. For you, for myself. Two will be somewhere and one taken. That is what made it happen. I tell you. One heard the voice of the word of God and became rapture. And the other left. Both of them heard God and one heard. Because it's all about hearing of his voice. Say that the trumpet will sound and the voice of the archangel. Then we shall be caught up to God. So how many times have you listened to the voice of the will of God and I, I have accepted to be caught up? So it's all about hearing his voice and being caught up to God. After all, man fell from heavenly places to the earth realm. And then God is in the business of evacuating men again out of the earthly natural realm to the supernatural realm, which is the heavenly places. It happened with Abraham. It happened for, with the people of Israel. They left Egypt for the promised land, which is heaven. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And afterward, I'll come to take you now wherever I am. You may be also. Where is he now? He is in heaven. Seated at the right hand of the throne of his of the majesty. And that's exactly where he's calling up to come. And then if you can hear the sound of the trumpet, which is the word of God, which and the voice of the archangel, which is the will of God, the moment you listen to it, then you're taking up. Then this word rapture can be found any place in the Bible. It's an English word. And it has been happening all along. I want to end it up this way. It says, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the garden of his people be. And then Shiloh is been coming and coming the word of God and anybody sensitive must be gathered to God. So if you are sensitive enough, you can be caught up today to be in the heavenly places, which is far above principalities, which is above the natural realm. For we have been translated from the kingdom of this world to the kingdom of his dear son, which is heaven. And I'm registered in heaven. And that is why I operate from. Try to be raptured today. Try to be caught up today according to the will of God and you will not be found in the atrium anymore. God bless you. Yeah, what says the time? It is Exodus. It is Exodus. Exodus means evacuation. It means uh, relocation. And God is the pilot. According to Exodus 19 verse 4, he's in the business of bringing his own, his beloved, from a certain place to another, a greater height. You know, for Abraham, he brought him from a known place into an unknown place. For Moses, he brought him from a uh, wilderness into Mount Sinai, a place by him. You know, for the Israelites, he brought them from Egypt into the Canaan land. For John the Beloved, he told him, come up here. He wants to bring us from the lowly part of the earth, from the cave, from the valleys, into the mountain top. He wants to bring us from outer courts into the holies of holies. He wants to bring us from carnality realm, realm of dust, earthly realm, into the heavenly, into the spiritual, into the supernatural. He wants to bring us outside because outside that dogs, he wants to bring us into himself so that in him we live, in him we move, in him we have a being. Because in our fathers as there are many mansions.